Shoot him! Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it is raining still. Misty right now. I'm trying to keep the lens out of the water. Mama's got me doing daddy chores. You know how that goes. But welcome back to another one, guys. Uh, before we get going, uh, I want to talk to y'all about something very important. And I need to tell you guys sorry. <sighs> yes, something has happened that is honestly completely out of my hands. And I want to describe it to you all and say sorry before we get going here. But quickly, uh, Sandhill Flyways, we are booking new clients that have never been here. If you want to come back, return if you have came before, if you've never been here. And you want to come and put your pin on the old map. Uh huh. We got a lot of people from the east side. <laughs> a lot. If you want to come, uh, Sandhill Flyways website is always linked down below fill out the inquire to book form you know the deal this hunt this is a little sheet water hole that i have been had been wanting to hunt i mean i'm gonna sit here and say all my life okay not all my life i would probably say for the last 10 years for sure the last 10 years this little sheet water hole uh it's, it's behind a farmhouse and i was always under the impression that the farmer was kind of mean you know, I think I had asked once or maybe Gerald did and got a hard no. But when we offered a little bit of cash to guide on it, man, he perked right up. And this video is amazing. I'm just going to put it that way. So just goes to show, don't be afraid to ask if you have something to offer. If they ask you if you can pay, offer up. You know, like if all the boys, five of y'all can throw in $20 a piece, there you go. It's something, right? And I'm not saying that that's the way hunting should be, like everybody should be paying. That's not what I'm saying. But if it gets you out there and it, like I said, it costs you 20 bucks a piece, I mean, it's worth it, guys. All right. I know you guys want to watch this video, but a lot of you need to hear this. I have been getting a ton, a ton of emails, direct messages on Instagram, uh, somehow phone calls voicemails, literally everything from you guys saying that someone is impersonating me. And what's happening is, y'all, I've been here, I've been doing the little giveaways where I give away a hat or a hoodie or something very small, okay? Not an archery bow, not a gun, not anything expensive. Y'all know that. And there's someone uh, messaging you guys, and I mean a lot of you, I don't know how they're doing this in volume like they are. I have no clue. It is not me. They're using my profile picture, but the name is a bunch of letters and numbers. Guys, they're trying to get you to pay for shipping on these large items like, like I, again, compound bows, saying that I gave away a compound bow, you want it, now it's going to cost you $160 in shipping. Guys, if I ever give away anything to any of y'all, you are never gonna have to pay a dime for anything. And I mean anything, shipping, any type of cost. So please, please do not give out your credit card information or anything. Do not give your money away, all right? Be smart about it. Just because they have a profile picture, come on, use your brain. That is not me. That is not me at all. So. If, if you have gotten taken for some money for shipping, I apologize, but again, it's not my fault. Uh, these times and ages, and it's not safe out there. Be smart with your money. I know it, you get a little excited when you see, quote, me messaging you, but I would never, ever even ask for any of you to pay for something that you won, right? Just want to get that out there. Um, if these messages... If these messages keep happening, and they probably will, I like giving away hats and hoodies here on the channel, man. Like, that's, that's something for me to give back to you guys. And um, I'm not going to stop doing that, but this guy, whoever you are, man, kick rocks. Get a life, for real. Um, it sounds like I, I've looked at the text, and it looks like he's from overseas somewhere. Uh, so just use your, use your head, guys. Again, I apologize, but it is not my fault. Uh, be smart with your money and with your life, please. 
after we get done watching the hunt, we're gonna go out back. I have a lot to show you guys. I'm gonna show you the pigeon loft. I got some big ideas. We have to revamp it uh, because we're getting ready to start firing up pigeon trapping. And I'm really excited. I have a lot of plans coming. Stick around after the video. We're gonna go out back. Should just be nine. Seven, eight, nine. Some of them are not live. <laughs> well, most goose poop in one area I've, I've ever seen. I would say so. Holy cow! We're gonna put the A-frames on a uh, on a cattle fence. They're gonna stick out like a sore, you know what, but I think it'll work. I don't think it matters at this point. Uh, I don't think so either. I really don't think so. So big sin today. New place. We'll see how the video turns out. But here we go. Uh, we're on just a nothing but <laughs> dirt and goose poop. So we'll see uh, how it sticks out. Gerald will probably go to the road and look back at it. Look back at it and see what it looks like. Smokes. This is what I was afraid of. These geese are bouncing really, really early, coming to our water hole. Guys, we're gonna let them get low. We ain't taking high shots. Too bad. Uh, Too bad duck season's closed. Yeah. We got geese right here, though. No, we do. Yeah. I think uh I think that one might be damaged. What? I think that one might You're be gonna damaged. you think dude this is nat my oof. what? Good boy here and my hands stink. Water. Yeah. Let's go over here. Hey hey not through the decoys please. <laughs> over here. Good boy. Good boy, hold it. Trap. There we go. Honkers. Got all four of them. That was good. Good shooting, guys. Uh, yeah. Big geese today, huh? Freddy, he's been uh, retrieving the honkers good boy man like you've been working smell real smell good smell. yeah you're a smelly yeah. dog and that's some smelly it's mud out there my guy yeah. yeah yeah you guys gotta smash a thumbs up for old frederick he's working hard today good hunt uh so far what time is it sitting at it's getting late is it so uh they had a bunch over us right when they all lifted off the roof 15. 9 15. they should come back to this they've been loafing on it no they have not been roosting on this this is just a day loaf and then they go out to feed at night and then go back to the big roost go feed in the morning and come here and chill midday so that's what we've been seeing is they're getting off the uh, feed in little groups and trickling in here we go here's some more oh <laughs> shoot him right there nice. good fetch it up good fetch it up hold Shoot him! Nice. Nice. <laughs> Headshot. Fetch it up! Fetch it up! Shit. 
Shoot him right there. Shoot him. Good job. Careful, careful shooting over. Don't, don't shoot over. Friend. Shoot him right there. Shoot him. Oh, here we go. Front left. Oh, yeah. Oh, Specs. Come on, Specs. Come on. I don't even want to call at him. Probably because I suck at spec calling. Yeah. You got a spec call? <laughs> yeah, I do. Set. You're ready, guys. Nice job, oh guys. Oh my god! Yeah, y'all. Just that natural, that's all we gotta yeah, do. Just natural? Uh, so her doing work? Yeah, you're doing work. Doing uh, twerk, you know. <laughs> twerking and working? <laughs> twerking and working. Uh, this is Joel. Uh, go give doing? him a follow right here. That means you have to put it down there. Right there. Uh, right. Joel, man, he does amazing photography. And I'm here. And uh, I got a. It was in the summer. I'm like, you got to come take some pictures for us at Sand Hill. That's what I do. Yeah. Take maybe, pictures. maybe real quick, you could throw in a couple of his photos mm -hmm. while we're sitting here talking and some of the juicy ones. You guys got to go follow him. Get some good stuff with Fred. Yeah, we got all kinds of good stuff with old Frederick today in the mud. Um, Joel kills it. All of his reels, video. It doesn't matter if it's videos, pictures. He does some crazy. Probably the best. Uh, work with the sun. You just got to go look. He puts these sunbursts. Uh, no, he, doesn't put them. he doesn't put them in his photos. He knows how to capture them naturally. None of it's photoshopped. You got to go check him out. Uh, amazing stuff. How old are you? You're my age. 34. 34. 34. Just had your first baby. Yeah, I got a two year old and another little girl on the way. In uh, end of May. Oh, yeah, so, you do have two. My yeah. bad. My son Leonidas and. Uh, I can't tell you the girl's name yet. I haven't announced that to the world. <laughs> That's a secret. Yep, yep. So you, uh, you guys brought enough goodies. Yeah. Yeah. You would think we're shooting yeah, we put for up Hollywood little, out here. Put up a little story, making people think we're selling everything. Lightly used, one owner, you know. Yeah. Not for sale. <laughs> Not for sale. <laughs> Unless you got, like, tree fitty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Let it roll. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes, link comments on there. Your... Welcome back to okay, the Amazon stands or whatever. <laughs> Harbor Freight. It's Harbor Freight. Freight. <laughs> well, the other ones are too tall. Or you're just too short. Well, probably. All right. We're back for another one, episode 46. Uh, we have a very special guest, Joel Jones, not Bo Jones, because that's not actually your middle name. No, it's not. I found that out you gotta five be, years you gotta ago. Be, you got to be close to it when you talk. It's not my middle name. There you go. There you Sounds go. good. <laughs> so, I know. Uh, I really thought it was. Yeah, most people do, actually. Kind of just like a nickname between a couple of close friends growing up. And then you put it on your Instagram. You just call each other, hey, Bo. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got all sorts of stupid shit. How many years ago was it when? <clears throat> uh, Been 2017, five years ago, four years ago. So, no, five years ago. Yeah, you were at Patterson. Yeah, when, we, when I came up for that snow hunt. The oh, you've been hunt. up here before? Yes. Yeah. Before we, yeah. First time so Matt, Matt. 17, yeah, the Matt good year of snows. Like that was we, fun. My lease filled. We shot opener, yeah. conservation. Mm -hmm. What did we do there? Like fifty something or something. 
Uh, I think it ended up being 110. Was it? Yeah. It was a pretty okay, big maybe just, it was just a little <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty big stick. And then and then they all roosted on Patterson and we tried to jump shoot them oh, yeah. right at sunset when they had came back to water. Oh yeah. And we killed three. I didn't take any part in that. I watched You did a jump there. and you killed three? We couldn't it get was a bad deal. They were they way were, out yeah. there. Didn't you take the Argo out there even? Well, oh, super sneaky. We no, went you out took there. it out to <laughs> get the three geese you shot. Yeah, yeah. the three <laughs> geese. But you, we yeah. took it out to the cat tail. They'll never see me coming. <laughs> I remember, like, the first time I met you, you talked about uh, you had, like, not waterfowl hunted at all, really. Like, photography. You haven't done waterfowl photography at all until leading up to, like, a few years before I met you. But he waterfowl hunted. Yeah. Yes. I, I really, I only started waterfowl hunting in. 2013, 14 season, I think. Oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't grow up waterfowl hunting. I got introduced by a really good friend. Wow. Who was good also one. part of the Bow crew, Tyler Bo Johnson. Not his middle name. But, uh, yeah. He you have to earn that bow, don't you? Yeah. You have to bit. earn it. <laughs> you got to get, like, a real good backhand. Yeah, get jumped in. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> right. So, no, but you, but how long before that did you do? So f- I started, I picked up my first camera in 2010. So okay. End, end of 2010. So it's been 11, 11 full years, I think. Yeah, and, and just kind of like thinking back to 2017, 18 there, like 17 for sure, like you were, yeah, was <clears throat> you for sure figured out really social media and how to grow. So yes. is this and like. And then th- your content. Is this like your full time gig now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I went full time February nineteenth of this past year, so it's almost. Yeah. I've almost hit a full year. Yeah. Of and this. Of this. Just full time student camera. So you and travel a lot. Seriously, it's um, it is baffling what some people do to make money, right? This is why on Instagram, and I'm getting back to the uh, the scammer trying to scam you guys off my giveaways. This is why Instagram and YouTube have verification check marks. And your boy don't have one yet. Looking like I probably need that YouTube gets old, man. This this is abundant. This guy has been harassing y'all for now, I would say probably two, three weeks. And I even uh, said something in one of the last videos, two videos now, uh, guys, don't, don't give your money away. That is not me, don't trust them. Uh, so again, hope you hear me loud and clear. It is not me. If I get a hold of you, you know it's gonna be me, man. So here we are. The pigeons, I gotta do some uh, not feeding. They're not feeding a lot. I don't know why. Um, at least these guys. These are the feral pigs. Uh, these are the ones we trapped last year. And uh, this is the feral loft. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of renovation to this one. And I mean a ton. The buckets just aren't cutting it. We're gonna have a lot more pigeons in here this year. Uh, We're gonna do some damage. And I mean some damage on the pigeon trapping. So I wanna get more living boxes in here, hatch boxes, extend it a little bit, make it bigger. And then over here on uh, my pet pigeon side, um, we have eggs everywhere everywhere these guys are producing so i've been taking care of them real well Uh, on this side as far as renovation goes i'm gonna box it in a lot more i'm gonna give them a lot more enclosure i'm gonna add some more living boxes uh, because during the winter when it gets cold it gets really really cold because the wind just sweeps through this loft and the poor pigeons all huddle up. So we're gonna uh, make it a little more comfy for them and, uh, and the babies that are coming. Hopefully they all hatch. I've always had issues with snakes. And last year we caught two snakes in our snake trap. So I got it going. That is just a minnow catcher with an egg in it and let me tell you it works those snakes get in there and they can't get out so got a lot going on here i'm really excited about you guys have been wanting to see more pigeon trapping more pigeon loft stuff and i haven't been neglecting it i've just been waiting 
for the hatching season to get done. I don't want to go out and trap mama and daddy uh, that are taking care of their young right now. So going to let them babies that are out there before we trap them grow up so they can take care of themselves. Again, so I don't trap mama or daddy and then they don't get fed or watered and end up dying in the nest. So just got to wait probably another week or two. Maybe not even that long. It's going to be close, guys. But there's eggs everywhere. There's three down there. Right, right there, we have seven eggs total in here. And we have so many good colors of birds. Probably going to get some awesome, uh, awesome color variations coming. So lots to come, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. That hunt was amazing. Fred did amazing with all them big old honkers in that muddy water. I'll always remember that hunt. Amazing hunt. Again, my lens is getting really wet, sorry. We are booking at the lodge, guys, and uh, there's good availability. A lot of you wanna come in November. There is a lot of good availability in November. No, you most ask question when I talk to y'all on the phone. That's what happens. You fill out the inquire to book form, and then I call you personally, and uh, please only fill that form out if you are serious, okay? So how it works, uh, basically the most asked question I get is, Bobby, do I have to have eight people to book? And I'm like, absolutely not. It can be one of y'all, two, three, four, eight, 12. It does not matter. So no, you do not need eight people. A lot of our clients are father sons, being very, very honest and uh, haven't had a, haven't had a bad one. We've had really good luck, really good luck hunting, awesome food, awesome camaraderie. When you're here, this is, this is true duck camp. I'm just telling you, a lot of y'all experienced it watching the videos, but until you get here, you won't really experience it. That's what I'm proud. I am so proud of what I've built. So, and I want to share it with y'all. If you're interested, get a hold of me. Sand Hill is always linked down below. Remember, fill out the inquire to book form. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have it. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, lots of pigeon trapping and loft and pigeon hunting coming. Lots of it. So thank you all. Hit the notification bell down there. It notifies you when I upload. You get just a little notification at the top of your phone. If you don't want to watch it, ignore it. Thank you all. But until next time. Lonely, thought I'd be getting angry, but girl, I ain't even getting mad. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism.